Do you take cream? No. Ta-da! Wow. <laughs> Big breakfast for my big man. Eat up. <laughs> How many eggs is this? Just six. Okay. <laughs> but you're not having any? Mm -mm. I had juice. I put garlic in the eggs. Mm. Mm. That's what that is. <laughs> Try. <laughs> How is it? You like it? Mm, delicious. Good. <laughs> oh, I got it. Hello, I hear clean house. Oh, hi, hi, welcome. Yes, yes, we're very excited to have you. Come on in. Yellow. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um. Why are we doing this when you keep doing things like this? I don't. I don't understand. Uh, why did you hire an au pair when we need a maid? No, no, no. She is she is a certified maid. She 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 came from a service. I, I called a number. She came from a service. An eight hundred number? No, no. Nine hundred no, number? No. What is your name? B D Rollins. B D Rollins. Where are you from? Yes. From. Uh, like a land far away. Uzbekistan. 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 Mm. Yes, I'm sure you are. Green card? Yes. I know. Yeah, yes, green. Yeah. I I clean house. Yes, you do. Yes. Okay, honey, put that down. Mm. I have a uniform. You're not allergic to latex, are you? Yeah. Yeah. That's gross. Stop leering at her. And I'm calling Dr. Hennessy. No, 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 no. <sighs> Everyone have your calming spoons? I don't understand. Now, as you all know, I don't normally do home visits. Uh, this is, well, very, very unorthodox for me. But I wanted for the two of you to try to, to take a shot at communicating using the method that I taught you. The Hennessy method. Which we've gone through in our previous sessions and uh, is detailed in my book. Trish, since you were the grieved party, why don't you go first? Well, I think it's a really inappropriate choice that he hire her to clean our house. And I feel frustrated that you're so unappreciative of the fact that I hired her to lessen your burden of cleaning. And I feel that if both parties would do their share of cleaning our house, we wouldn't have to bring an au pair in to help clean our dirty laundry. And I feel that you don't take into account the other items I have on my agenda my on a daily- DA. Just because I don't have a penis doesn't mean my job is less important. Spoons. Oh, great, great. Oh, she's the assistant DA. Let's give you a trophy. Let's make sure everybody here knows how important you are. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Maybe I should get on the UCLA women's basketball team or, or on the Tijuana donkey show. Now, those happened long before I even met you. Bangkok. Oh, I, I, I be Bangkok. I'm sure you've been Bangkok. 
That's it. I've had enough. Why do you always walk away when we fight? This that is the end. You, but you are allergic to latex. You're allergic to talcum powder. I am not powder. going to wear that for my husband. How am I supposed to spice things up? I don't have to do that for you, my husband. Why I shouldn't not? have to. But lift insane, us up and to make us stop. make us stay together. And I just shut up. Anymore. Sit down. Come in here. All right, I am officially relieving myself of my duties as your therapist. You guys don't listen to me and you don't listen to each other and you're not following my method, which is proven to work for 90% of my clients and it says so right in my book. You want my advice? I'll tell you what, you guys should just have a no holds barred fight to the death. And who could testify? She doesn't even speak English. Beatine Lawrence? And then maybe you can come over my place and see the look in my daughter's face and explain to her why daddy couldn't take her to Disneyland today. I'm taking these. Marriage, it does not suit you. So just a brief refresher on uh, the Hennessy Spoon Method for those of you who maybe haven't read my book yet. Your marriage ultimately wants to look like this. Now, what happens in geometry happens in real space, happens in metal, happens in your lives, happens in your hearts. That is two curvatures fitting together. Now, what the spoons do is this. They clash. So what I want you to do is I want you to take all your anger, all your feelings of hurt and frustration, and I want you to see what it feels like on your hand and your spoons. Not with each other. Let the spoons take out all your anger. So when you're in your sanctuary, when you're in your, your marriage, in your life, in your hearts, I want this, not this. So right now, I want this. Calm 